just finishing sanding off here. I'm using a medium sand pad, a fine sand pad and an ultra fine sand pad that just polishes it up a bit before I put the primer on it. So the hinges have all been covered, or I should say where the screws go in on this door. And this bottom plate that was put in when we put the front array on has been glued and all the filler around the edges has been smoothed down. Now it might need another coat, it might need some more filler but we won't know that until after we put primer on it. So I've almost finished masking everything off that I don't want primer on. Just a question now of trimming. With the front array, that's uh, very important. Take your time when doing this piece, you don't want any paint leaking into and covering the LEDs. I've covered all the wires in the back so they don't get sprayed over, so you know which is red and which is black. I've covered up the circuit boards. Okay, so I now check. Front array LEDs are covered. The whole front array panel is covered. Don't need to cover anything here. Don't need to cover the hinges. The circuit board inside the door is covered. I don't need to cover that wire or that panel there. ID LED covered. Back of the circuit board inside covered and the wiring is all covered. I think we're good to go except I've noticed here there's a blemish in this light. Feels great, but it might not look it. <laughs> so, this is how I'm going to start. Make sure everything's masked off. I've got an old uh, spray can, I'm just mounting it on there. and we'll leave it to dry. So that first coat's uh, drying now, it's touch dry. It's looking pretty good. Still needs a rub down, but uh, I just need to spray these parts. So I finished spraying with the primer and I can still see some lines here here so I'm gonna to have to sand the whole thing down again uh, fill where I need to fill So 
so I won't be using anything coarser than medium. I'll start, but it'll be quite a long process, and we'll cut back to the finished look. I'm going to leave this coat to totally dry out, now that I've sanded it, it's got a little habit of picking up pieces, so I just need to put it to one side and leave it. Right, so this is after its first spray of paint and the first looks it looks okay but I'm not happy with the back here it's got a few holes in it and it's a bit uneven and you can still see the seam along here so I'm gonna rub this down again Put some more filler, not so much this time, let that set, rub that down and then give it another spray. But the colour I'm quite happy with. I'm using a fine sander to start with and I don't just focus on one part, do the whole thing. So I've given it a rough sand down and I noticed there was a hole in the moulding just here so I'll put a bit of filler in on that and there were bubbles and things here so I'm just going to touch it up with a bit of filler feel the magnet under here when I do this. I've just gone around the body again, having rubbed it down. I've used a fine knife and I've just filled in little imperfections that I still think existing. I'll let this dry off totally and then give it another good sanding. After that I'll give it another prime, rub that down and then another spray paint after which I expect it will be ready to start installing the main circuit board and continue on with the build. So I've just finished putting the final spray coat on the tricorder body, letting that dry. Done the same with the bottom plate that screws in. And I've just primed where the emergency light will fit. I've just primed that piece. I'm going to wait for all this to dry now. <clears throat> then I'm going to clear coat this. So the paint's all finished. It's just the way I do it. Same as this one here. Clear coat that. Uh, and then once that's done, give it a nice gentle rub down with a very, 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 very fine cloth. Clear coat it again. Then we can remove this masking tape and the masking tape in the other areas and start installing the rest of the circuit boards and the final pieces.